The promises of electric vehicles seem endless. Using electricity generated by wind, sun, or water, they could potentially remove personal transportation from the global warming equation. And without big internal combustion engines and transmissions, electric cars can be designed around people and their cargo rather than around machinery. Plus, their batteries have the power to handle all that self-driving technology we keep hearing about. So they promise to be safer too. For those reasons and more, the shift to electric is inevitable. In 2018, the number of electric vehicles on the world's roads reached over 5 million, a 40% increase from the year before. That momentum should continue. Prices for battery power have fallen rapidly over the last few years and are expected to continue dropping as more battery factories are built and manufacturing technologies improve. But for now, there are challenges slowing wider adoption of electric vehicles. For starters, they need more range, more places to charge, and just more variety. Today's electric offerings tend to fall on either end of a spectrum. On one hand, cheap hatchbacks that are still more expensive than their gasoline-powered equivalents. On the other hand, pricey luxury cars. That said, all of this will change over the next few years as automakers bring more electric cars to market. Available as electric, hybrid, and plug-in hybrid. The good news is that the mechanical simplicity of electric cars, they have a fraction of the moving parts in a gasoline car, makes designing and engineering new model variants relatively easy. Plus, companies like Volkswagen and General Motors are also backing rollouts of big, fast-charging networks. With all this on the way, some analysts predict that within the next 20 years, EVs will make up the majority of cars sold.